A question for Sir Steve Webb. You are the uh, Minister for Pensions during the independence referendum campaign. Um, <laughs> I remember that you said, and I quote, People have, uh, this is as part of the UK, people have greater certainty and security when it comes to their retirement. Do you still stand by that? As we've transitioned, as this is an inquiry on DB pensions, as we transition from DB to DC, the uncertainty on individuals has gone up. Uh, I think, members of the committee, I as an ex-MP have a guaranteed pension regardless of the markets, longevity and all the rest of it, which is a very good thing. I also have a DC pension whose pot value, I don't know whether it would go up or down. So it's certainly true that individuals in the DC world face greater uncertainty. I'm sensing that might not be where you're coming from, but that would be my answer. Because um, in relation to the hundreds of millions of pounds that the DWP has been underpaying pensioners, last June you said, and I quote your own words, it beggars belief to hear that a government department could simply decide that it was acceptable to pay the wrong rate of pension for decades but feel under no duty to tell Parliament or the public. If the DWP has sat in this secret for decades, it makes you wonder how many other things simply get brushed under the carpet. And a year later, you said these problems persist. And you said, I fear the state pension is so riddled with errors that recipients should not automatically trust that the income they receive is correct. Essentially, you should always allow uh, start from the assumption that the sum of money you may be uh, receiving is incorrect. That's how bad it is. Does that sound like security and certainty to you? Well, no. I mean, I think the latest DWP figures where they think one in six claims is in error, uh, which is astonishing. I mean, I, I, I'm working very hard to try and understand exactly what those... But I, I had an FOI request back from them quite recently listing all the errors that still persist in state pensions. So uh, much more work needs to be done. Following the work that I did with This Is Money, they've appointed a 1,000 civil servants to check hundreds of thousands of records who go in every day, and all they do is check for errors. So there's a long way to go before people can be confident, in, in my view. So, so perhaps you don't have that certainty and security that you said so confidently when you were pensions minister during the 2014 referendum campaign? I'll uh, leave it at that. Thank you, Sir Stephen.